what's up you guys welcome back to jen goddess world today is blocktober day number 14 yes 14 yesterday was friday the 13th and today i'm excited i just got up it looks like i haven't like well it looks like i just got up but like my hair doesn't <laughs> but except for i still got my little hairline i literally just hopped up out of bed i'm gonna go um get myself woken up wake up get myself together because in a few minutes, this eclipse situation is going to start. Um, and then in an hour, I have my sister-in-law pulling up because we're going to go to a safety bill, safety day event at this place here in Sacramento called Safety Bill. We're taking my niece, my nephew, my daughter, um, and one of my boys in, in case they want to go. Um, they're not, it's not necessary, but, uh, you know, opening up the invitation if they wish. Um, yeah, but I told her to show up until 930 because I wanted to like experience the eclipse. So she said she was down with that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get my, myself together. Like I said, hopefully try to get myself together in time so that I can go for a walk and really experience the eclipse outdoors. And that's what we got going on today. So other than that, we got the sun here behind me. You can't tell if it's getting gloomy because of the clouds or if it's because of the eclipse, but I'm excited that there's at least sunlight. So let's get to it. Good morning. Say hi. She's like, girl, gotta go brush them teeth. <laughs> and look, we have half sun, half clouds. I think we're going to get some action. I'm trying not to look at the sun. <laughs> but I wanted to capture um, an early shot because right now it is 8, about 8.15. And this is what it's looking like so far. Looks nice and bright. Hold on, let me go to my other window. I'm trying to get a good shot here. <laughs> And it's, uh, let's see, let me look at my little time, 8.18. And they said it's supposed to start anywhere from 8.30 to 9.30, I believe. So, so excited. You can tell it's starting to kind of like, it like looks red already, kind of, sort of. It's hard to focus. There we go. Okay. Also, in case you didn't know, this eclipse is being called the Ring of Fire. So I'm over here like, shout out to Finding Nemo, if you know, you know. But when I heard that, that was like my first thought is the Ring of Fire and Mount Wanahakalugi. Just saying. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to try to find a little clip and insert it here. But the Ring of Fire. <laughs> I had, it, I had to share that. I had to share it. You guys, what is this? This big cloud legit like just took it out completely no sense of hope nothing so disappointed here i was ready mm. Mm. Mm -mm. also party next two houses over <laughs> but what the heck i'm so sad look i was over here ready i was ready to go but they're so dark like i don't even see anything coming through nothing absolutely i mean i guess that's the goal right ignore my backgrounds that's our catch-all table, can you tell? <laughs> like, ugh, I'm so sad. It's 9.25. The max is supposed to be at 9.20. So you could pretty much say that, yeah, stupid clouds being haters today. Me and my BFF are texting on the side like, 
Did we miss it? Yeah, it looks like it. Damn it. <laughs> I guess we just got the vibe of this slight tint in the sky and clouds. Can't even tell what happened today. But the thought was there. I came prepared just in case this stupid cloud decides to move out of the way. Like, we never get the eclipses on our side. And the one time that we do, it's cloudy. And normally these would be beautiful clouds. Just not on the day it's supposed to be an eclipse. Come on. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Oh, let me enjoy this walk. So I'm the weirdo that's out here. Oh, I see it. It's happening. Oh, it's so cool. Oh. All right, you guys, I'm walking and I'm trying to do too much at once with one hand because I got the dogs and my glasses in one. Um, I literally just called my son. I was like, go outside, go outside. There was like a break in the, in the clouds. And I was like, you guys need to get the glasses, go outside. <laughs> so he did. And he's like, he runs outside. He goes, oh, what the? This looks pretty clean. I'm like, I told you. So anyway, I thought I would capture the moment because I'm like, finally. I've waited for this all my life. No, I think we did have one. Hold on a sec. Sorry, y'all. I had to text my BFF to see if she could go out there and try to see it. <laughs> Hopefully she has special glasses though. I'm gonna try when I get somewhere where I don't look like a crazy lady. I'm gonna try to get on the side where I normally walk and of our neighborhood and um, see if I could capture it through the phone lens. I don't think or I don't know that um, it'll mess up my camera, I don't think. It's not like a naked eye, but let's hope not. Also, um, I was saying that I do recall this happening like about two or three years ago, I think, because I was at work. But I don't remember it being like this vibrant. Unfortunately, because it is past the, the, the highlighted time, um, it looks like the, the sun looks more like a half moon. The ring of fire unfortunately was missed because <clears throat> clouds but i got to see some of it so exciting now i was out here inspecting the world what's going on my day is officially fulfilled okay I'm so happy look at that vibrant sun behind us we're not gonna look at that because it's hurting my eyes already but i'm so happy even though it wasn't the ring of fire like in its full glory so excited and what's even funnier it's like i was i was walking by a house and they were all like they have a little courtyard out in front of their house they were just like all sitting there having like a little watch party you could tell with their glasses and everything and then you have people that are driving by looking at us like what the fuck's going or excuse my french but like what the heck's going on <laughs> it's just like if you know you know kind of thing if you've been paying attention or even thought about it because the things are just flying look at the little birdie it's just chilling Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hurry up and get back home. I know my sister-in-law should be pulling up here shortly. So, and I'm hoping I could grab a, a quick bite like with a bagel or something because I'm hungry. Come on. Oh. I'm trying to slip out all the pee and stuff. But, all right, my friends, I will come back later. <laughs> Janessa is getting ready for the corn maze. You already shunned us and said we're gonna get lost. Yeah, we got lost last year. <laughs> My niece and nephew, they're getting ready to go. Where's Mia? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Where's Mia? Copy written. If I keep singing that. Oh, there she is. She's right at the bottom. <laughs> That went too fast for me. Go, Mia. He wants more. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah. Go. 
Go, Mateo! Woo! Okay, no more. Let's go. Go, Mia! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go, Mateo! Ooh, ooh. Let go, let go! Be careful, Mama. You already lost? I'm gonna try to scare it. Okay, they went that way. Try to get the interception. Oh, crap! I'm almost tripped. <laughs> Taking his tail feather. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my gosh, so cute. <laughs> what? Oh, hi, baby. No, I'm sorry. Thank you. Unless you all want to know. Oh. That looks like Bella from Rosa Room. That was not the color. She is. Her name is Blanche. Hi, Blanche. <laughs> and then comment. Oh, that's a cute blush. Oh, look at the baby. You're trying to, bro, you're just trying to sleep, bro. <laughs> huh? Hey guys, so we came home from the pumpkin patch and we just kind of visited and I fixed some of my photos and I finished doing my little decorations, little sneak peeks happening behind me. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog because the husband's blasting music outside um, and to be honest, it's been a long day and I've had enough footage, I think, or captured enough footage, I think, to be able to make today's Vlogtober exciting. So thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to comment down below what's your favorite part about pumpkin patches. And I'll catch you on the next one. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe. Did I say that already? Anyways, make sure to hit like and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.